Eight years ago, Inspector Neil Shambler lost his leg in an accident. It hasn't affected his current role, but if new reforms come in, he could be out of a job. Clearly, I would not be able to pass a fitness test um, only having one leg. The fitness test involves running, uh, and I can't walk very well, let alone run. Cuts to the police force and changes to pay and conditions have brought Inspector Shambler onto the streets of London with hundreds of his colleagues. Mainly, we're concerned about how this is going to impact on our ability to deliver a quality policing service to the public. Kilo 36, and I'll show you to uh, Chatham Road. Uh. Yeah, receive that. What have you got? Tom Renshaw responds to 999 calls in the Maidstone area. He says he's worried that the police service he joined is being dismantled. We spent 180 years building up probably one of the best police services in the world. Um, and I'm concerned that the cuts, um, the changes to our terms and conditions uh, are going to have an impact on the service that we can offer the public. With Kent Police having to save £50 million over the next four years, he says he joined the march to make the public aware of what these cuts will mean. The issue here is privatisation of the police and with a 20% cut to the budget, public safety is going to suffer and that is something that we are deeply concerned about. Detective Sergeant Pete Wakerley is marching because he says the government is on the verge of ruining a world-class police service. In Kent alone, looking to lose 500 officers and 1,000 frontline staff. The workload hasn't gone down, the demand hasn't gone down, and we've now got to try and service that with less police officers. It is going to affect our ability to serve our public. Rank and file officers say if all the current plans and proposals are implemented, policing in the future will have to change radically, and it's the tax-paying public who will feel the impact.